Hello everyone, Coco in here and welcome to another episode of Foundation in the Atigua map. We are right here where we left it. And before we begin, I wanted to thank every one of you for supporting me throughout this journey. And I've decided to give you a special thanks by doing a giveaway. So make sure you check the description for the link uh, for the video, right? The link for the giveaway. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what the city here. So the only thing I did was to buy all this territory in order to start producing some luxury. Now, I really want to start producing luxury. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do so right away, but I, I, I you know, I, I'd rather have the production ready to go. So let's go ahead and place some of these uh, things over here. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking placing this guy over there, the crane. And, and it, the mineral node, it's kind of like, I really like it, you know, because it's actually in the middle of this, you know, like in a re small valley. You will say this might be a really nice area to, to start the game somewhere here and you'll have the middle nose over here but let's go ahead and do the you know the typical here and the decoration the small ones the small cranes over here small cranes over here and then let's authorize that construction i'm not in any hurry as i said it, i know it's gonna take some time to start developing this area but at least i just want to have that going another thing i was thinking guys and I think I'm going to be pulling this right now is the actually the butcher. So if we take a look at the uh, carcasses, we're producing 100 carcasses. And another thing that I did notice is that we have almost 300 sheep. And uh, I mean, we are producing a lot of cloth. But what if we convert those sheep into carcasses? Now you will think, OK, so this guy is going to be a butcher. So the carcass here. It's actually really nice, right? Because we're close to, to this area. And then adding a butcher, I, I was thinking maybe in this spot right here will also benefit from this farm. Now, I did notice that we're selling meat. Uh, and I think I assigned this, you know, who knows when, like five, six episodes ago. I don't know when, but we're, we're actually selling meat there. Where else are we selling meat if we think about it? Oh, only there we can actually if we absolutely want we can actually add another seller over here it just depends on how fast we are going to produce those carcasses so let's go ahead and start with that let's go ahead and assign some slotting pens right here i was thinking maybe here right a couple of them or actually we might actually be able to do three of them right i know we are i'm i'm building it on top of the row but I believe they can, they can, you know, they can find another row even if they have to go around. That I'm okay with that. It's gonna be a very not a milking pen. It's gonna be a very busy area as you can see here. So we can do three of them right here. I was planning maybe doing some more here, but I don't know how good it'll look with with the you know with the veggie farm here. I mean, it's gonna contaminate. In fact, to avoid any contamination, we can create a invisible wall here. I'm not invisible, but you don't get the point. Just for decoration purposes. Something like that. Maybe, well, let's see. How's hay, the hay? I mean, the hay is okay. I don't really want to eliminate any of the hay. I mean, if we absolutely need to, we might be able to, like, eliminate one of it. But I'm just going to leave that there. Even We can even place one more slaughtering pen here. I'm not sure how the ratio will be, though. So that's why I don't want to force it too much so we can do that i'm just gonna allow four of them and of course we're gonna have the carcasses being stored uh right here and right here this one i actually can what i'm gonna do is tell them not to store more carcasses there just leave out leave that one there and we can actually store carcasses here uh what what do we do have where is all the hay by the way because i see a lot of hay uh in the map i mean in the track here but i don't see where most of it is i mean we have 41 here yeah we have uh, some good hay around so it's pretty well uh, distributed so yeah let's go ahead and do that just leave the carcass here let's see how fast they can bring it and then we're gonna be building a butcher here as i said so i mean there's gonna be there's 11 constructions at the moment i haven't speed up time I speed up the game yet i know i missed some military military mission because I, I want to talk about that as well. 
So let's see. So let's place this just a regular botcher. We are not going to add any market tables. And we do have uh, the possibility of upgrading it. Now, another thing is that I confirmed with Bajushki, the developer of the guild hall, that uh, the, the veggie farmer or the master veggie farmer has to be the one that works the field. It cannot be the the one that works the processing like the building basically so unfortunately aurelia is not uh you know able or is not qualified to work as a as a master ve ve vegetable farmer now we have this person here a corsa uh, i don't know why but she does not want to uh, you know go to level six maybe she just needs time so speaking of military i was actually planning maybe I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. I'm going to slow down time here again. Because I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. But I was thinking maybe, you know, uh, upgrading this a little bit. And redesigning this area so that so that it looks more more military, right? More more medieval, uh, fighting, whatever. But we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of things. And don't forget, we have 342 people. And our goal is to reach 500. Of course, I might, I might not stop at 400 since we're gonna probably gonna need to to do more stuff with search and whatnot ideally 500 whereas we have no no serves that that would be ideal i mean that's very difficult but that will be the ideal now are we selling common words i don't remember if we actually are selling it or we're so we are yeah so have we sold any we have wow and that brings a lot of money i'll show you then beautiful Everything is looking phenomenal. I think our city has recovered from, from suffering because we added the flower, the trading. Now, we do have to keep an eye on the cloth. There is nothing to keep an eye on. Like, it really took off. And what else are we trading? Well, we're trading swords. So, I guess swords is not an option. So, we have uh, we received three villagers. And I'm pretty sure we are desperate for assigning those somewhere. I know oh, the builders. Let's assign them to the builders because... We have 11 buildings to, you know, to build at the moment. And the church is getting built. And an outhouse got built there. Perfect. And was I was thinking, maybe we do in this episode, maybe adding a vegetable farm here and sell the veggies around this area. What do you think about it? I think, I think that's going to be a really nice idea. Now, no access to service. Who doesn't? You, where do you live, though? You live right here. I mean, you have this. Okay, you have that. And you have this, and you have that. I mean, you must not be close to your... Okay, you you work and live nearby your workplace. I mean, it's up to you if you don't want to go and access the churches. That's up to you. All right, one thing I just noticed is that we have 27 mathematics and 25, 26 alchemy. Now, uh, the buildings that actually uses mathematics are stone cutters, uh, iron quarry, and I think we cannot we made a mistake or i made a mistake here i didn't foresee this but I, as you can see i cannot add a a improved machinery although it says one per building but we do have two per two buildings now we do have two iron quarry i think it's one per monument so we build these two buildings within the same monument that's why we cannot do it unfortunately i mean the workaround will be eliminating that and basically, you know, deleting one of them and then building. I think that's the solution here. Now, another thing that we can use it for is the stone quarry. But I don't think we really need to. I mean, we have not almost a thousand stones again. And, you know, it's uh, because of these. All these ruins that are being, you know, consumed and, and dismantled have been paid. I mean, has, has paid off with a lot of stones. Another thing is the stone mason, but we, but we only need two. Although we need, we definitely need polished stones. And I think I'm going to go that way because we don't need any weaver. We don't need anything on the tailor. We don't need anything on the copperage. I mean, we are not. We don't even have the copperage. Uh, we don't need anything on the windmill. Nothing on the joiner workshop for furniture, I don't think. I mean, we could utilize some for the planks. Uh, that, 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 you know, that's, uh, that's good. So if we go to a sawmill, for instance, right here, the sawmill should have its, you know, improved tools for 25 and mathematics and we can add it you know and, uh, and i think i don't know i'd rather do this and then you know add more for the polish stones once we have the buildings that way we we keep producing right 
Although it's gonna take forever. I'm not, not forever, but it's gonna take some time since uh, no, no, our builders are very, very busy right now. And uh, regarding the alchemy, so we can use it for the charcoal hole, hot. We don't need anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't need charcoal whatsoever. We can use it for the bakery. I think we are max at the bakery. So if we go to the bread situation here, so this bakery has its own oven. This bakery has its oven. Do we have any other bakery? I mean, if we really want to go bananas, oh, there it is. Oh, we do have actually another bakery. So let's go ahead and add, uh, go bananas, <laughs> and let's add an oven, kind of like here. I like that area. But uh, just to give you an, you know information, we can use it for the brewery, the cider press, the iron smelter, blacksmith, cheese maker, creamery. Oh, creamery. Well, we don't have that. We don't have that many, that much milk. So there's no point of making butter. But we can use it for the candle maker, common wares, uh, potters. And then, uh, what is it? A tannery. So we don't need anything of that right now. I think we're good. So let's see. So we just received two people. Let's take a look at what the jobs are required. Uh, I mean, this has become our best friends, guys. The workplace tab, the book right here. Because that way we can control everything from here. So there's a lot of transporter that we absolutely we don't need to add. But we can definitely start adding some miners. We don't need that. Oh, the livestock workers. Yep, I forgot about those. So we should be able to start producing some carcasses. Are we not yet? Uh, well, we just need to probably wait. Where is the carcasses being stored? Right here. We probably just need to wait. Just give it. Let's give it a minute or so. All right. So we have 20, 28 plants, which means we can actually assign it for the wood cutter. By the way, plants are used for the wood cutter, the wheat farm, the veggie farm hop farm orchard and flax farm flax farm we don't have the mod and basically what the flax does is that you can produce wool out of flax with a you know with a with a farm so the veggie farm so we can actually upgrade this this guy over here with uh improved tools perfect uh oh you are kind of like in the middle where can i put you these improved tools i'm gonna sacrifice this right here yeah sacrificing that and then we can actually are you not farming this area? You are not. So probably because we did not own the territory when I did this. So let me actually expand this a little bit so we can, you know, you know, do for that. Now, another thing that we actually have to take consider here, look at the cheese, guys. I think the first <laughs> the first uh, ship of uh, cheese might have just came because uh, I don't I don't think these guys have done anything yet. I mean, let's see. There sh should be importing uh tools out of uh cloth why do we have apples there oh because yeah we had cheese okay oh i guess that it's uh there's low workers and uh, do we does these guys are these guys bringing tools i'm hoping so right because we are exporting we're exporting importing flour and exporting let's see we're exporting source and planks okay so okay so we're exporting planks that's something that we actually need to consider for the alchemy and whatnot because uh i forgot we're exporting plants what else can we export in the meantime i mean i guess we can actually export uh cloth right uh i i think i think that you know we can give that one a try and see how it goes right so let's go ahead and assign this guy over here perfect now we have a military mission available so let's go ahead and do that right away it's a difficult one uh, oh look i said that we have uh, plenty maybe enough i mean they're strange they're fully trained i mean they're we haven't upgraded them to so to knights yet, so that's something we need to uh, consider. But unfortunately, until we don't uh, start producing our own luxury, we're not going to be able to do much for that. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's see if these guys are finally level six, which I doubt. Yeah, it's taking them forever to uh, to go to level six. Let's see. Yeah, level six, level five. That is. What about these guys? These guys were level five uh yeah they're they're there though I, I don't know why they haven't upgraded to level five six i'll need to i need to check out why it's not why are they not upgrading to level five it's just a uh, pretty interesting they've been like this is gonna be the second episode and they have not reached level five or level six that is all right guys so looking at the <laughs> the stone production the stone capacity that we have or this stock oh everything that we have in stock i think it's time for us to start you know, thinking of uh, expanding our uh, polished stone production here. I'm going to do it as far as possible from what it seems to, or what it's, uh, we're trying to make a, 
a city so i'm gonna be doing two of them right now and then we can go further but i think two of them should at least increase the capacity here now i know i'm building in here and we're probably storing a stone like pretty far away i mean these guys have a lot of a stone here i don't see anywhere else where we are storing stones i mean basically everywhere right and why do we have stone here that's pretty weird did we at some point export stones by any chance we're not exporting stones are we uh no coal i guess we exported stones at some point i i don't quite remember but i guess that's uh that's that's what's happening there so why don't we authorize uh let's see can we actually you know this is the joiners can we actually do we have any more space here we do not i mean we can store we can change that for furniture tallow where's the tallow being stored by the way i don't really know uh let me see let me take a look here so the tallow is being oh let's go ahead and charge tallow is being stored like here uh oh okay so yeah we're gonna probably yeah i forgot about that we're probably gonna start producing some tallow here so why don't we actually refuse tallow here and utilize this guild hall that has a lot of capacity guys remember this guild hall has a lot of capacity why don't we do like we can do hay here we can do where is it uh, tallow tallow there is tallow we can do i mean we can even do this if we want absolutely want to the compost uh what else i mean we can do stones but the thing is that there's no communication in between here so i'd rather keep it with tallow what else what else does it produces oh it produces hide so we want to assign hide here yep and then assign two people here and uh, i mean we can actually do let's see what else we can do I, i'm not sure there's a lot of things let's do leather let's do let's do that and then we'll monitor it from it all right so yep let's keep them now do we are we storing milk here by any chance uh we are indeed uh, we, we're also <laughs> storing flour but by, by the which by the way look at the production right now guys i don't know what happened but the production increased i guess i guess the veggies because of the upgrades we built i'm hoping that and of course you know people are not depending on, on both of them but uh, on bread basically people have been eating more and more bread i think that's what's happening here so perfect everything is looking phenomenal i believe uh with, besides the luxury thing which is uh, kind of like a bummer but you know for now that's what we have that's what we have to deal with same with the butcher right remember the butcher we need the butcher level six for a master no not a master baker but a master butcher to start producing some animal knowledge all right one thing that i've just realized is if you look at this we're not selling bread within this area here so i think i'm gonna authorize some bread here now this guild hall right here i forgot what we actually told her yeah so we're selling cheese because we have a cheese maker here which makes sense now we can actually add another market even here and start selling bread since it's uh, becoming pretty common and it's going down pretty quickly <laughs> but uh, but yeah we can actually put another bakery here if we absolutely need to and place a ba a market here for for bread so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be first gonna place a market for bread here first of all and then let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna be doing the the one for the mod which i like a lot i don't know i like the the design quite a lot we haven't added any uh, that's actually why don't we do that right now i'm actually gonna do it although our people are very very busy i don't want to bother them that much uh, or at least the builders but i really want to actually start putting some tents right on top of the markets something like uh, like this right something about like that it'll give you a little bit more of a life to the city but uh, once we at least are you know comfortable on building stuff i guess or you know our builders are not that busy we can actually assign more builders if we absolutely have to and we can place one here i think a builder here might be a really good idea now i'd rather place them in a in a place where they can build houses because they're going to be complaining about uh, we can place it here but it's going to take some space they're going to be complaining about housing unavailable or not able to build their houses nearby but we can place it it's going to place it where i said uh oh i don't want to be an uh, you know an ass and put someone there but yeah let's place it here since nobody's building a you know a house there i'm going to be placing this guy here perfect let's assign three people there 
and um, you know start building stuff guys it's gonna speed up time i was thinking maybe authorizing houses here but i don't know i don't know how good it's gonna look with the uh, with this guy here in the middle right it's i don't think it's gonna it's gonna look very you know pretty so i'd rather not do that now is this is this ready for to go the hole is ready and uh, we said we're gonna be doing the stone the stone workers here right or we can actually do the animals but i'd rather do the stone workers i'm pretty sure that's what i said now do we have if we do the stone workers we're probably gonna need a master hold on no a stone workers a master stone mason do we have any master stone mason and i'm pretty sure out oh, there it is mr gonnery you have been assigned to be the master where is it the master stone mason where is it there you go well, welcome to the family of being the master stone mason he, they're gonna be producing some mathematics which is good i mean we can actually re uh, reassign that if we absolutely need to for something else but i don't think we actually i i don't remember what i said i'm pretty sure i said it was gonna be some sort of a m minery so let's go ahead uh, that guy's been assigned so we're gonna need to be assigning someone here once the gunnery uh, finished that job all right so it looks like we have two guys here perfect that, that got built pretty quickly huh all right so i'm gonna keep an eye on that and actually we have mathematics why don't we actually tell them to build do we want to do the plank or do we want to do the polish stone i think i'm gonna go for the polish stone we have plenty of planks right now so let's go ahead and use mathematics to upgrade that right there oh and we're gonna be producing quite a lot of mathematics with the stone master stone mason i mean the guy so i'm waiting for him to finish up but i guess he doesn't want to finish jet all right so they're walking all the way to here i mean they can they can gather stone from here if they absolutely want i mean they no, they shouldn't want to gather from there they must gather this stone from there of course food is going down the more people we have the you know the more food necessity is required within the city but uh but this guy where how are we doing in carcasses that's something i really want to track real quick because I don't know where the carcasses are going, guys. I mean, we have 19 here, 100 there. I guess the butcher here is not finished yet, or... Oh, no, it is It is finished. So we just need to assign a couple butchers there and start, you know, gathering some uh, carcasses from there. But carcasses should not be... I mean, if we have... Uh, let's, let's assign someone here to assign to... Not assign, but store carcasses. See if it makes the process a little bit faster uh i'm gonna assign two guys there just for now and then we have we have 600 common clothes guys now can we actually tell this guy that they're, they're importing they're exporting importing clothes uh the yeah, tools in exchange of clothes these guys are exporting uh what is it right here they're exporting planks in a change of uh clothes i mean we're exporting clothes in exchange of i was gonna say swords what happened with this guy uh sport call what, what happened to this guy he's uh, gone where are you you're not working or what or something oh okay i mean i'm gonna assign you let's see we can usually go here and see so there you go i knew it we probably remove her from the job uh let's put you as a transporter why not let's put, put you as a transporter and then you figure out where to go for now yeah so that way she doesn't complain about the workspace so we have a military mission available uh do we have any military yet have they come back uh they have okay so let's go ahead and assign them to that i mean the military missions they they get repetitive of course but they're really nice for rewards right and then i think the strategy here so when you play the game in the future the strategy that i've been using is you know do a couple of source maybe 10 of them five of them send people to military missions and then that's about it you don't need to produce any more source because once we you start doing the high difficulty missions they're, they're gonna start bringing spears and that's about it you don't need to produce any more source now if you do have the trading post or the trading uh the realistic trading uh, mod enable then you're gonna need uh the the source you know because they're gonna be a way to export stuff all right so the, like looks like the fisherman does not want to be upgraded to level six which is a, a pretty sad situation here what about the veggie farmers yeah they don't want to get upgraded interesting i don't know 
we'll need to investigate that uh, pretty closely and looks looked like looks like our ship situation went down a little bit but still up i wonder if we actually need to do uh, something else right kind of like milking the ship i mean this ship farm started you know became a fantastic idea i think in my opinion all right there is something i i actually did and as you can see in the horizon i tried to do it with the mod right it's a mod called uh medieval stone walls right it's a it has a, the different stone walls here the only problem that i see is that it's piece by piece right so it took me it took me quite like some time to to organize it in a circle now as you can see it doesn't look like the best right because you know you have some elevations and that affects the the wall right i don't know i don't know if i like it that much but i really it's you know it's at least something different that goes with the city right we can actually extend this and per, you know it's we can actually do something here such, such as like a lower manor i was thinking maybe a lower manor that actually it's a it's in the, both sides and i think i'm gonna pull it off i'm thinking i'm gonna leave it as is although it's a it's not the best aesthetically and there's you know some ocds kind of like mine gets triggered by seeing that but as you can see here there wasn't much you know that i could do to be honest because you know the elevation will cause different you know different situation here so if i was trying to do something you see how it snaps there and if i turn off snap it, it won't it won't go i mean i what i could do is kind of like turn off snap completely something like that but it's gonna take me like it's gonna take me literally forever even if i turn off snap look 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 how it looks so yeah i'm just gonna leave it as is uh, i'm gonna actually put a lower manner here and i'm gonna do a lower manner on both sides right i'm gonna do a lower manner on this side i'm gonna lower manner on the other side and this time i'm not gonna do that lower manner i'm gonna do this lower manner instead now it actually if we do this lower manner does it reach the durability around the area it kind of does so it, it makes me think do we really want this one or we really want the other one uh, the good thing about this one it has so much uh, other pieces that, that that actually look good because this one as you can see is just basically pretty simple so yep all right so we have nine people before we continue doing so we have nine people and now uh, we actually need to start assigning jobs does the did this guy started working already no nope. okay so he already are he's already producing some mathematics and i see that it's uh, paying off a little bit so why don't we assign people there for mathematics so what could we do here so if we take a look at the stone we have 25 stones why don't we assign okay so why don't we build mathematics for these guys uh, i know it's gonna be only one right uh actually i don't want to place it there i actually want to place it kind of like uh well there is might not be a bad idea to be honest <laughs> all right so unfortunately we can only do one per building because we know i mean we can actually remove this one uh since we don't really need stone uh we can actually remove this guy here uh i'm actually can i remove that individual piece instead yes uh fortunately yep there, there you go and we're gonna do oh never mind oh i'm stupid now that i think about it there's no there's no monument <laughs> i completely forgot about it let's go ahead and snap it there's no monument i guess this is considered a building okay never mind that's okay it's not like we require the stone right away uh let's see so i guess this not didn't get built or it's being built looks like it's being built okay all right so alchemy the alchemy where do we want to use alchemy so we can use it for this guy right we can use it for the cheese maker although we're not producing that much cheese uh let's see can we use it for these guys let's see so these guys need i'm assuming this is animal right yep it looks like it's animal what they need makes sense uh same with the sheep i'm assuming what else do we need i mean we uh, what about the butcher can we upgrade the butcher by any chance we could and uh it looks like it looks uh uses animal as well of course that makes more that makes a lot of sense all right they, we're gonna use the alchemy for the iron smelter right here oh no that uses a, a mathematic interesting i'm reading that it use it should be using uh alchemy rather uh, it's telling me here in the in the website i'm looking at it that it should use mathematics okay never mind so what about cheese makers cheese makers use uh, the baker uses alchemy the cheese maker it says here that it should use mathematics 
uh, alchemy sorry so this guy right here i know i say we don't yeah we don't really have that much cheese uh, or milk uh, that is what about the candles we're selling i, I actually place a market market tender here and here too so so we can utilize utilize people there i mean we can use it for the candle from the candle maker right but do we really need to uh i don't i don't really know so so we have the options of bakery yeah i guess i guess we're gonna utilize it for this oh wow that's that's a big upgrade <laughs> i take that back guys i take that back <laughs> all right so let's do it for this guy i guess for this guy right here uh no that but this oh you use you use mathematics wow so i guess nobody uses alchemy uh that we actually need because i'm reading the guy literally reading that this uses alchemy maybe it's a it's a it's a mistake that's okay we can actually start uh you know once we have mathematics we bring that guy here so this guy uses mathematics uh alchemy so let's say uh, the blacksmith let's go ahead and place them eight upgrade finally we found someone that can actually take our our knowledge so i'm gonna be filling some jobs here so basically some crews some transporters uh dog worker we can uh, we don't need to do that exporter some other transporters on a granary i mean there's not much going on here uh we can assign another builder if we absolutely want to i think i missed the promotion so we have to keep an eye for promotion because i think we are you know we're good to promote again uh we can do another chunk or whatever is offered to us for for commoners right so let's go ahead and send let's send them all to this mission right here and then i noticed that we have some plants so that we can actually use here so i think we already upgraded this guy here yes we did where else can we use this so the sheep farm no no that's animals uh for plants we can do the vegetable farm the wheat farm let's go ahead and do this wheat farm right here uh how, how are we looking at wheat we're looking okay in wheat i mean a flower is looking okay i mean let's go ahead and start producing more wheat for sure so let's go ahead and assign some uh, the plants there we can also use it for the wood cutter for some reason so if we have if we you know go down in wood we know we can actually use it for wood cutter uh yeah we don't oh yeah let's go ahead and charge i was gonna say we don't have any a military right now but yeah that's the mission we already sent all right so we're producing shoes are we selling shoes we are not and this guy, I think it doesn't offer a market, does he? Uh, let's see. Maybe this guy offers some market. Oh, no, just upgrade. So we might actually want to add... Why don't we add like a market in between here that only sells uh, shoes? And I think a market here might actually be a nice idea. So we can actually do a medieval fairy, this one right here. And place this guy kind of like right here. Right in front of his uh, shoe shoe making shop, right there. I think that's gonna be, yep, that's uh, good enough right there. And assign someone there to start selling shoes. Perfect. All right. So the shoes are being stored here. He can just grab it. It's not like a necessity. So at least we can start producing something there. We don't we don't lose that. So mathematics are almost there too. And I noticed that the take a look at this entertainment is going down. So we actually might need to start thinking about adding another building like that where can we add that building I and mean, and what can we add so if we go here for service we actually have a barber shop we have a, a bath house we don't have a brother but we can uh, we don't we don't have the glass but we can actually assign glass and in fact we can actually put a brother in this uh, lower manor kind of like part of the lower manor make it a little bit funny there uh yeah i mean that that man <laughs> close to the <laughs> close to the church <laughs> next to the church <laughs> yeah that'll be hilarious right so yeah why don't we actually expand this this uh opening here and put a brothel kind of like attached to it so if we do brothel right here kind of like in this area kind of like facing that way right i wish we can oh no it looks terrible right? <laughs> yeah because of the heel so what if we make it why, why don't we make it kind of like part of this uh let's see how it looks right here I think it's not gonna look yeah <laughs> yeah the heel situation it's a uh, it's something here guys so we have to we have to actually uh, actually you know get used to it i don't know maybe it gets fixed in the future who knows but let's pay, place a brothel uh i don't want to use this space because people are gonna need uh, you know that space for 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 houses so a brothel can be go here or 
we can satisfy these people with a brothel next to the <laughs> next to the monastery, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Hold on. Let me let me hold on. I'm sorry. It's just I found it hilarious. It's just me. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So let's take a look at what else we have to do. I think we're good, guys. I think a lot of things are happening in the city. Uh lower manor. That Lord Man over there is going to get built probably in the next episode. Same with the brothel. Let me take a look. I have to, you know, go off camera a little bit and investigate, research the area. Because we're pretty pretty much packed, right? Uh, we're pretty much like at capacity right now. Uh, the only thing that we actually can do is basically come in to this area and start populating this area like crazy. Look at that. They're building that. <laughs> I told you it's going to take forever. So, yeah, we're going to start populating this area with some houses and i think it's gonna look good because it's kind of like hilly we can place some houses there and here of course we need to find a way to start producing our own food in this area because i think i'm gonna be doing like first food and then start moving people here and don't I like completely don't uh, promote those guys until we are enough in food and find a way of like transporting goods between cities but yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Or if we absolutely want to go crazy, guys, we can actually buy all these territories and start a new city here and start go expanding this way. It's going to be, we can call it a fish city. We can actually build like 10, 15, 20 fisher huts here. I'm thinking, let me, let me know in the description, in the comment section, uh, what you want. Do you want me to go option A? Do you want me to go in this area and start building a city here? option b we can go in this area and start building a city kind of like in this area yeah let me know in the comment section and before we go let's take a look at our farmers let's see if they're level six they're not and uh, the fisherman is not level six and with that i'm gonna call it here guys thank you for watching thank you for being here don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below i will see you in the next episode i will see you next time and i will see you very very soon bye bye guys